Hi guys. <clears throat> so I'm alone in at house. My sister is at work. My dad went to his mom's old apartment to do something. I don't know what. I feel quite depressed today. Um, well, it's nothing new, but I was just thinking I was going through some videos that I did before and it's very hard to talk about some things about yourself and publicly as well but you know there is a time when you have to say something you see I'm waiting for my psycholog psychiatrist to give me a time and to come and I can't get to her through the phone or anything so who knows if it's gonna happen and who knows what's gonna happen till it happens because if something happens to me I said to my doctor openly that I have suicidal thoughts and if something happens but he can't tell say that I didn't tell him that because I want people to know that I was thinking about it and as bad as it sounds and I know some of you you know probably think how stupid I am but uh, the things that I'm dealing this year and the things that I'm dealing my whole life you have no idea how it is you know some of you probably never slept on the street some of you probably never um, been bullied like I did or broken or you know I'm just a damaged person and I am trying to mend myself through my art but it's not going that well and I am, you know, here where I live, money is sparse more than you think. And um, I am doing what I love. And of course, I'll keep doing it because it's something that I'm empower, empowered, you know, with. And nobody can take that away from me. Like from, I don't know, somebody who works in the store, you can get fired. I can't get fired. It's my life and it's my job. And it's my passion, but it doesn't bring any money. Well, it doesn't bring much money, but today I was thinking about loving myself and I came to conclusion that I really don't love myself and I'm getting fed again because my dad doesn't know anything to do, anything with his emotions except buy cheap, sweet, stupid things. And I fall when I come home, like now, it's, it's 7.30 at night and I'm eating sweets because I'm weak and I hate myself and, and the thing, what I hate is me uh, physically right now, not, not, that mu not that much emotionally and mentally because I know that there, are, there is a part that I have to go through to mend myself, but I didn't wash my hair for three days. Look at this. It's all sticky and look. Look at this. Look. It's disgusting. I I I can't have a haircut because I don't have cash for a haircut. I have to pay for my studio. I have to pay for utilities. I have to pay for everything. I'm just going crazy. Um I want to sell my collections of toys and yet I don't want to because they're mine and they make me feel safe and happy and it's just everything is just not right and I really don't like myself anymore I don't like my face I don't like my well I don't like anything about me physically I think I look like I don't know like big ugly blob, I don't know, and whatever you write, whatever you say, guys, please don't even try to uh, flatter, because I'm not falling for that, I know what I know, and it's so hard to not be content with yourself and how you present yourself I'm open here all the time and I don't care you know about some things because 
I think this is a platform where you have to be uh, honest, not lie, and there's many people here on YouTube that are just gonna say all the best about themselves or all the worst just to get attention, but I'm just saying what I mean and what I think. What I think is that I just go from bad to worst and I mean, look at me. I got so worn out this year. I'm... I don't know if I should just do this video and just go through what I hate about myself, but I hate my face. I hate my... I hate my... Well, I hate everything. Look. Look at me. A year ago I was younger and nicer and not just because of the one year but the stress really got to me and I'm trying to get help and psychiatrist and you just can't get to that you just can't because of the stupid COVID situations situation I just can't and I'm I'm going crazy I don't know what to do I just I just wish I wasn't here I just wish I disappear and right now it's a poem, of course. I, I don't think I deserve to live. And it's a hard thing to say. And people think that people that are bipolar or just ADHD or just a little bit different or artists in general that are just strange, that it, it's normal to say all these things. But guys, I lost my mom. I lost my mom and she was my rock. I lost my grandma. I didn't love her, but she was my grandma, you know. I do have some nice memories with her when I was a kid. And my dad is like absent all my life and right now he's just like a I don't know, catatonic person. I don't know. My sister just works and I can't help her. I'm giving all the money I have to them. And it just brings stress to myself. And I'm so grateful to you guys that you're here. And I'm so grateful to you, Janice, for sending me the, the sending me the package. It made my week, it made my year. And my Barbie is right there. And my other figurine is right there. And I just I didn't even un unbox him because I don't know, it's just, he's too precious. And my cats are here with me, of course. And, you know, they're the only light in my life right now. And I'm trying so hard to be happy. But you can't be happy if you're not happy. If you know what I mean. I can't pretend that I'm happy. Maybe some people can. I can't. I'm I'm so unhappy. I'm so un well. I'm so unhappy with myself, with my body, with my face, with my teeth, with my eyes, with my hair, with my eyebrows, with my beard, with my with with everything. I don't like anything about myself anymore, and it happened so fast that you know it just it just makes you feel so isolated and lonely and. When I tell that to people, they're always like, oh, you're stupid, you're stupid, you're talking stupid things, you're an artist, you're just so eccentric, you're this and that. And they don't think, no, he's just human and he's got emotions and he's dealing with it that way. I just feel like I'm not understood. And I'm rambling and I'm rambling and I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna speak as much as I can because I can't stand it anymore. You know, try to live without food. Try to live without stuff that you need to survive. You know, uh, I don't use drugs. I don't drink. I don't do anything wrong. And I still got nothing except my talent, which is obviously not enough for this country. And yet I can't get out of this country because of the COVID and stuff. So what's the point of living? Tell me. I don't have my mom anymore. If you find one good reason for me to stay here on this earth, 
I'll take it. But you will not find it, believe me. You will not find it. I can only think of one thing, and that's be here for my cats. And that's a horrible, horrible realization that you have your cats. And I'm very angry right now. I'm very distressed. I'm very emotional. And I'm just going to go right now. And you guys just... I don't know what to do anymore. So thank you. And I'm sorry about this long video. But I wish I could talk to you live. But nobody's here when I go live. So I don't care anymore. I don't care if this week I don't find a psychiatrist. I don't get her on the phone. I'm just going to do something stupid. And I'm going to probably regret it. Bye.